can't I just use spring lock on the door and then just walk in? Why is that not a thing? Okay. Well, there's that thing down there, which probably leads to treasure, considering it's trapped. There's treasure over yonder, which I can go ahead and grab now. Can I open purple? don't remember if I was ever actually allowed to open purple. No. Somehow, my power is still not high enough. I still do not have over 9,000. How do I get in there? Oh, right, right, right. I gotta aim it like this, and then how do I fire? X? Here we go. Set of Storm Serpent Scales. Look at those. I have scales on people. Here we go. Trick Type Intensified. You have tricks that are like that? You do. You have Short Circuit on there. You lose the defense, though. You know what? Go ahead. That spell is actually quite good, so... Have at it. Let's check out this trapped area over here. Because... why not? Is there anything in here? There is. Can I sneak around it? You know, actually. Does levitate work? Is this like... Aha! It's like Final Fantasy XII, where I can just levitate over the traps. Alright, we're good now. I don't know how long this lasts. I like Trippy's flying animation. The Serpent Key. Ah, so we actually needed to go there to get the key, so that's the key for the door. I love how he swims through the air, it's great. Seriously, how long does this last? Thought it was gonna last a relatively short period of time. Did I lose Drippy? Drippy, where are you at? There he is. He's a little slower than me in the air. So I can just use the key? Before I use the key, actually. I can't save here, I have to go down and save. Because I need MP, and in case... There doesn't seem to be much behind that door, so let's go down here and save. As you would logically do before possibly encountering a boss fight. There we go. And it finally wore off. Hooray! Anyway. Now we can go through here. The statues are... Oh, I see what it was. I ripped dirt. There's a pattern on the front of the statues, and the statues are... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you can't see it from the top-down view, and I didn't actually bother to look at the statues, so... You're just matching the stupid statues. I don't know what it's on about with the nonsense and the frogs in the middle. I don't know what's going on there. Um, This looks totally safe. Is there any of these side passages? Probably not. Yeah. That's a boss arena if ever there was one. Look at this, man. Hello. It's a frog on a pedestal. It's not actually, I think it's a statue, but... That's the stone, I presume. Oh! Hi. How are you? I know nothing about this fight, so let's see how this goes. Possibly poorly. Considering I've got low-level people here. Quote-unquote low-level. Um, let's pull out... The only person who doesn't get hit like a truck is Tuzan, who doesn't get hurt really badly. AK Mart, RK Mart has no defense whatsoever. Because he is a low-level since I transmorgadurked him. Let's just have at it for a while. Let's go all-out attack to start here. Black Bolt. I gotta figure out his skills, too. That's definitely a thing I should block then. Ooh, that was lucky actually. I should get a heal now, yeah. Alright. Sorry, I just hit the table there, got excited. 
Let's see if Gogo -Go grabs that. There we go. I wanted her to grab it because she needs the HP. The spear just be weak to fire, too. So Ice Age isn't going to do very much. So, well, actually, it's not bad. So, please defend. Thank you. Okay. I figured that wasn't very good considering the name Death Rattle. So Death Rattle's definite defend. Missed two of us, actually. Somehow. I'm not particularly sure. yik a -fee? What does that mean? Pop something heavy on top of that thing, it'll soon stop slithering. Use magic if you have to. Um, I need to swap out anyway, so... Let's tell them to defend if they can get it off. I have... someone has... yes, Burden. Here we go. Let's pop Burden on it and grab this if we can. Because that's a fire spell, so... Burden... I don't know if Burden did anything. Doesn't appear to have. Maybe he stops moving? Let's see how much damage this does. 410. Alright, it's not bad. Let's just wait for IK Mart to get his uh, stuff under control. It just, yeah, it just caused Mr. A and V to get hit by that, but it should be alright. Alright, let's get back to beating the crap out of him for now. This seems to be going alright so far. What's her MP like? Pretty good. I hate when they attack just out of range. Did that do 24 damage to me while blocking? Go, go, why don't you use your serpent or storm spells that I improved for you? Uh, oh, okay. Apparently, I never actually clicked to defend. I just moved the thing over to it and sat there. Let's heal up Esther if she's not going to heal herself. She did. Um, I'll go ahead and top her up. Yeah, she got hit anyway. I think we're gonna have to defend soon. Seems like a good time for him to use his uh, death rattle. I don't like that ability, the mobility on this guy. I should be careful using those because they can't do it again for a while. Let's grab this. Go get him, buddy. This is a thing we haven't actually seen in a while, I don't think. Not that there's much to it, just does that. 213, not nearly as much as if I got it. Please defend. Ooh, I think they got it. They swap, they swap when I tell them to defend to their highest defense creature. Which is what causes the problem of them being a little too slow sometimes. Does that, does that just miss if we defend? It must be a status effect. You know, I don't know what Gunther's ability is. Next time one of those orbs drops, we should try and grab it with Gunther. Nice! That cancel. I need to heal myself up. She's gonna heal me too, but you know. So we got Yuhu out. That's good. Let's have Gunther come out. Or not. This could be bad. Ooh, I think I got it. I don't know if the AI got it, I was too busy freaking out about myself. It looks like we all got it. Nice. Army Monkey's cursed. Although now we lost Yuhu because I swapped from all-out defense to this. 43 per hit's pretty good though, so we'll see what I can do here. Who's he hitting? I should have told them to defend for that, but... Come on, Gunther. I should psych him up. Let's do that. Or not. Let's see if they defend. There we go. I don't think they needed to, but go ahead and tell them to anyway, because why not? Ow. Let me just swap back anyway. Go ahead and touch up ourselves. Let's use Burden again, see if it does anything. Reduces a single... That only reduces agility. I mean, this is Burden. Out of all the skills that I thought would, you know, weigh him down, Burden would be the one, so... Let's 
be some benefit to it. I wish... Oh, okay, that apparently hit me. I wish Tuzan had a little bit more damage. I could cut loose, but I don't think there's a reason to. I could also Sandstorm. Can you defend for me? Thank you. That all-out defense and all-out attack thing helps a lot when dealing with bosses. Because otherwise the AI will never defend and then take huge chunks of damage. We've already seen this. They might not... Oh, they did get it out. Nice. Very, very good. Very good. It's going to hit me, I think. Yeah, because I'm hitting them the most. Back off a bit. Just for a second. Still going for me. You can go for me all you want. It's just going to keep flinging bolts at you. It'll be fine. Let's go ahead and pull out Gunther. See what he can do. He takes a lot of damage, though, so that could be bad. Let's see. We didn't get another golden one, so I still don't know what Gunther does. What his special is. Seems to be missing a lot, which is weird. That didn't miss. It's almost dead. Come on, buddy. Don't need to heal, because she did it for me. Have a Tuzan. Ow. Very rude. That was fairly easy. Thank you for the heal, I guess. This is a really weird death animation. Just wanted to point that out. That's a really weird death animation. Even with Mr. AMV's low level, he can still tank these hits like crazy. He's got 202 defense now. Really high magic attack, so... Once he starts getting those uh, offensive spells that he can get now, that'll be pretty handy. Because he can learn things like Flame Pillar and stuff like that, I believe. If I am recalling of Z correctly. Give me my stone. Hooray! Obtain the Moonstone. So I assume there's going to be a Moon, Sun, and Planet Stone or something. A recurring theme. It's probably going to show us the uh, Council now or whatever it's called. No? Hmm. Good walk, Ollie boy. I guess we get to see Prince Ali human, although if the curse has been what's keeping him alive, I don't know if we should remove the curse from the poor guy. It's a miracle! No, it's a curse. It's how curses work, usually. Being human technically isn't the curse. I mean, killed the owner, the curse goes away, that kind of thing, you know? Is she the frog? I really like that rainbow effect on that thing. That's kind of cool looking. I bet that's her, isn't it? Called it. That was somewhat obvious once I once the story was told, I think, though, so. It's playing that music again. Hi, Yasmina. Huh? What? Yes, yes. Good lord, you people. Takes you ages. And wait. And wait and wait and wait. Ali! Ali, Ali, Ali. What a touching story. And now we're all the way back here, apparently. 
Not that this is technically that far from where we were, but and not that it matters because I can fly, but still. You should run around and yell that you're Prince Ali and Princess Yasmina. Yasmina? Yasmina? They're bananas, spelt wrong. You're welcome. Can we have, like, all of your money? You're a prince. I'm sure you have a lot. Not that I actually need it, to be honest. I still have a ton of the uh, gambling coin things, tokens, whatever they are, so if I need more money for whatever reason, I can trade those in again. And if I need more tokens, I can just play more Platoon. Which is the easiest thing there to get uh, coins with, I think. It's less, it's less random than the others. It still has that randomness of what cards you get dealt, but it's still less random than the others because you build your, your setup. I'll show that off if you guys want. I don't know. It's not terribly interesting, but if you've never played Platoon, I guess. So that wasn't a very long dungeon. I suspect they're all going to be relatively simple dungeons like that. I've unlocked the story. You just told me this. Thank you. I don't know why it tells you that you've unlocked a story message twice, but whatever. Alright. So. We have two more. We have one in the northeast, which is next to Hamlin. Or we can go over to the ice. The icy area. I don't know, again, it doesn't like really give you any sort of direction, just pick one. So I don't know if they're all equal difficulty or if there's some sort of difficulty curve involved with them. Let's go investigate the icy area, though. What I'm suspicious is, the one I just did is the easiest, and then you go to the top right because that's an area you've technically already been to. And then you go down to the uh, the top, not down, over to the top left. Also, there's that area on that island that we've not actually been to yet, that purpley area. So I don't know what's going on up there, but eventually we'll go there, I'm sure. I love how fast travel is with this. Of course, I could just use the teleport spell, but that only goes to places I've been to, so... Still, this is pretty quick. And it's got epic music, so why not? So we're here. Is there a town over here like the other places? Is there going to be a town on this uh, island? Where am I landing? Whoop. Is it right below me here? Looks like it might be that. That cave there. So is there not actually a, a town over here or what? There's something there. It's about as close to a possible town whoa that I've seen, so let's go ahead and land over by it, see what it is, just out of curiosity. May not even be able to do anything with it, but Yule! Gate slots. Huh. Unless there's an entrance on the other side. I don't want to run all the way around, game. I don't have time for this. Let's just land over here. Anything over here? Ah, we can go in this way. I wonder where that side's locked. I mostly just want to visit here, see what the shop, if there is one. See if there's a shop here, an inn, that kind of thing. That one right there is kind of cute looking. It's a little cold. I like how only two of them are shivering. Tom Tiz? Excuse me. Oop, now she- oh, now they're all shivering. 
<laughs> no one cared before. Oh, look, we're actually physically shivering while we walk around. That's great. All right, well, this is the end, so we actually have a quest marker here. Interesting. Our actual quest marker was nowhere near this place, though, so I'm curious if I just accidentally, like, sequence broke something. Chest. Cheeseburger. Probably shouldn't keep cheeseburgers in your chest and an igloo, but whatever, it'll be right. I would like to stay here. 240 Gildars. That's insane, but okay. We get a, another thing about this area. New Regions of the World page. Woo. I have looked at a fair chunk of the book, actually. There is quite a lot to it, but I have looked at a fair chunk of it, so... What's this say we're doing now? Into the... Nope. Into the Glittering Grotto. Is this the Glittering Grotto? Could be. Thank you for your in. Like how the doors are made of ice as well. That seems a bit silly, but whatever. This dude is huge! Look at him! Apparently he has a heart I can steal, or someone nearby does. We're kind of freezing to death, but the locket is glowing, overflowing with belief. Friends are sharing everything, yes? May as well take it, since I've got a slot open for it. Should I need it at some point, I'll have it available. Although the main story tends to ask for things you don't have, or haven't even had the chance to have, so that's mostly irrelevant for the recording bit. This is being enough, yes? Thank you. I presume this is some... because this is the clothing shop, right? No, this is the... Why do I have to talk to him? This is the... Help other people place, which I do on my own time, because they're not very interesting quests. Cappuccino. What of, of importance are you, sir? I can't even talk to you. I can walk... Oh, I can talk to him. This thing is just way too high for me to see. Hello to you. You are being... You are being Oliver. How do you know my name? You are learning it from your teacher. She is being your biggest fan. Ow. I need to stop hitting the table, I apologize. You are Ake. Okay. You're a snow person. Yes, Atomte, yes, I am being Ake. Okay. Hello, oh look, it's Tabitha. She has lovely gloves there. Hello. The Daily Yard. Can you stop purring for everything? Where is this leading exactly? Is this actually part of the main quest or what's going on here? You have something to tell me. I am. Excuse me. You're gonna tell me everything about Mornstar? Okay. Nya ha ha. That's how cats laugh, by the way. He divided the incredible power. We've heard this before. His faithful followers are the defenders. Yeah, I've already figured that out, so the Glittering Grotto is where I'm going. Am I actually doing these in the order the game intends, or what's going on there? Ha! 
How disappointing. We knew everything she said already, but whatever. The Mall of the Mountain King. The cave has the power to suck objects into its darkest depths. What? That sounds great. It's called terror. <laughs> it's in intrepidness and excitement. There you go. Otherwise known as terror to normal people. Oh, well, apparently I did have to go here. I wanted to find a town before I went into the place to see if I get some weapons or something, but... To wait till tomorrow. I've already rested at the inn. I have to pay for two in rests. God dang it. I still want to check to see if there's a... a change to what side he's standing on. I still want to check if there's a uh, weapon shop or something of use here. There's not, so whatever. It's the clothing sh or the uh, miscellaneous shop here. Technically the clothing shop, but whatever. You were hiding a chest behind you. Not intentionally, but you're quite large, and it's easy to hide things. A blunt gem will teach someone the blunt skill. Which is pretty good skill. I haven't used any of those, though. Wait, what? Did I run right by the shop somehow there? I did. Oh, it's because you're the shop. You have shields. Do you sell weapons as well? You do! You sell everything. Element Fire. That could actually be really useful. A lot of additional attack. We lose some magic attack, though. What about these Element Water, though? I don't think that's gonna help us for this fight. Assuming the, the dude's elemental weakness is fire, which would be logical. That's so much additional damage, though. It's crazy. This Ice Shard is really good, too. In fact, all of these are pretty good. What about armor? Resist to fire? See, like, these should be good, because they have resistances to water. So let's buy a bunch of these things that have water resistance that theoretically... They're better than what I have anyway, but then theoretically can help me here. That doesn't have resistance, but it'll be right. Assuming it is how that works, anyway. This armor is impervious to both heat and flame. You can also get wolf fangs, which are pretty good. Pass on that for now, though. A snow radish. And caramels. I should get snacks. No one here sells good snacks. Or that dude doesn't sell good snacks is what I was going for there. We'll get a blazing blade, and we'll put it on Tuzan, because he's the main guy. We'll leave the other one non-elemental. I'm still freezing to death. Can you get me some armor? Uh, not armor. I forget you You leave footprints. I keep reading about those things. It touches, man. It touches. Can I get some clothing from one of you people? It's cold. I gotta pay you again to sleep here. Ah, yeah. Sleep this stupid inn. I think the game has actually forced me to sleep at every inn so far, so I may as well just stop doing that. Stop uh, voluntarily sleeping at the inns before I explore the city. Um. What? Well, well, it is you, the famous Alicia. To what do I owe this pleasure? I see. So you have come to do battle. How very unwise. And you a great sage. <sighs> what do you hope to achieve? You know that all magic is powerless in my presence. <laughs> Foolish girl. 
I have just the place for you. A prison of eternal darkness. <laughs> Okay. Shadar was there. We already knew Shadar defeated her. We've, we've been through this before. It probably wasn't actually a dream, but whatever. Alicia is my ma'am. That's how this works, don't you know? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we, we've determined this, like... 30 hours ago, Oliver? Don't get your, your pants in a knot there. As I have done. Trying to fix this. That'll be alright. We'd best get going, indeed. We'd best. I've got too many freaking wires everywhere, good lord. The big frozen pond. Oh, okay, we've already been back there, so let's investigate that. We'll go ahead and see if we can get access to this area. If assuming it's just talking to this guy gets us access, I don't know how this works, but go talk to this guy. See if we can get access to that place, and then I will end the set there. You ice fishing? It's a very small hole. What's going on over here? I like how they gave the snowman a hood. That's great. Anyway, hello. No, not that house. That's the exit. Presumably what's going to happen is once I talk to this guy, they're going to let me out the back, which leads right up to the cave thing. You're the Elder? You have a thing in your pot that I wish to steal. Is that alright, Elder? Don't mind me. You've got quite the, uh, what I presume to be facial hair. I don't know. I guess it is your face and it is hair, so that pretty much solves that riddle. I hate how you have to be right next to people to talk to them, it's kind of annoying. It would be being alright, but the terrain to the north of here is being bitterly cold and very, very snowy. Yes. Is he going to give us clothes? He's going to give us clothes. I approve. I wonder if these clothes actually have stats or something. I like how we're always color-coded, too. I also love how he has an outfit now, which is great. Oop, pot. And a chest. Are you red or purple? You're red. Can't tell the difference between red and purple. Leave me alone. Oh, you know what, actually? A frosty flan. I should feed that to someone. I never did check the actual items very well here. Pixie Dew is pretty good. Cappuccino for 2,000 gold. I don't know if that's worth it. Counteracts and Nixes. We'll buy a bunch of these. Whoop. I hate how this system works, but whatever. There we go. We'll go ahead and top up to eight of all of these things. They're not very expensive and they're pretty useful. I never really use them on camera, but I have used them, so... And one of those. Petrification. That sounds like a thing you'd want to cure. Go ahead and get three of those, because why not? So... I can get some more strong coffee, that's not a whole lot of MP. I can get a bunch of cappuccinos, but they're crazy expensive. I can get some pixie dews, which aren't that bad. They have limited use, but I have ten of those. We'll top up on ten of these. So we've got twenty sandwiches, ten cheeseburgers, ten pixie dews. May as well get ten of these, so that's 300 MP if I need it. Alright. 
I just blew a ton of money, didn't I? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, north gate. North, north, north. And then pot. There's a pot, wasn't there? And I already got it. Right. Just every which way, always confused. Pardon me. North gate we go. Why couldn't we come in the gate? That seems silly. I mean, there's, there wasn't even a gate there. There was just a dude standing there. We couldn't say, hey, can we come through? So it wants me to run all the way over there, I presume. There's some cool monsters here that actually... May want to capture. It wants me to run all the way over there. We ain't got time for that. There's a gathering point there. I'll have to remember that and grab that later. Grab that when I come back, anyway. Hello. Did I talk to you? Ning to you, I have having been told by the elder of the village to let you pass. Alright, so... I guess when, sh when you landed here before, he would stop you if you haven't talked to the elder, so... I didn't land, so I didn't even see the dude. I suppose it is. It's cold. A bit brass monkeys. At least we have the clothing now. I suppose he does have a point. Donkey. I don't even know if you guys can hear that in the background, but... All right, donkey. Donkey will be all right. He just wanted to say goodbye to you guys because that's the end of this set. So I seriously don't know if you guys can hear it, but thanks for watching. I've been me, Sleepy Me, and uh, I will see you all next time as we make our way through the There's a Chest, the Glittering Grotto for the Magic Stone of Magicalness. So I'll see you then.